Oh, James was going back to last week. I guess it was a heartbreaking way to lose. Yeah, 100%, mate. Uh, it was tough. Uh, I felt look, we, we did, I guess, enough to win the game, but uh, we didn't do the little things that mattered. And in that last 10 metres, uh, yeah, the Cheetahs really stepped up and uh, closed the game out, which is a credit to them. And obviously, something that we can work on. The group's starting to get a little bit anxious. You're not playing that badly, but the, the results just aren't there. I wouldn't say anxious. I think, uh, look, we've got that belief in ourselves, and obviously we've showed that we can score tries and we can defend and play good attack. So it's more, it's coming. It's just when it's going to come. So we've just got to be patient with that. How are you sort of feeling this week going up against the old team? Yeah, look, very excited. Uh, they've come off a good win against the Waratahs, so they're playing some good rugby. And uh, look, it's going to be... Yeah, it's, it's going to be a tough game. Uh, no doubt the physicality is going to be right up there. How does it work between you guys? I mean, you're copying text messages already. A few of the boys from over there started to give it to you? Yeah, look, they got in last night. Uh, I've got some yeah, some really tight mates over, over in Perth, obviously. I spent four years there. So, uh, yeah, look, there'll be a bit of banter going on. So, I'll be giving what I get as well. What about the team, though, to go in on the back of last week? I mean, how important is this week for you personally and for the team? Yeah, well, like I said, it's going to be hopefully the first win of the season. Um, well, I guess for them, them coming off their game, they're in a, well, they've, they've come off a win, so it's pretty positive for them. But for us, look, we have built, we've built pretty well. Um, we just, like, like I said, uh, it's just those little things that are letting us down, like the end of the chain, um, a couple set piece decisions. Uh, it's those crucial things that are, are, are costing us at the moment, and that's sort of what we worked worked on today. And I guess hopefully we can transfer that into the game come Friday. You talked then about building. Can you quantify how far off you are in percentage terms? Well, I'd like to think this week. Um, I guess, yeah, you can never really tell. Uh, but look, we're shivering, I'm shivering. So <laughs> look, yeah, look uh, I dare say, look, we are very close. Uh, as you saw against the Reds and the Cheetahs, um, there wasn't much in both of those games. In both games, I felt we did attack well and defended well, I guess. Can't keep going back on that same point. But yeah, I guess time will tell. But we had, yeah, we had a sharp session today. Are you likely to start at 10 again? Uh, look, um, I guess that's up to Hilly and uh, I guess what the other coaching staff want. Um, I'm, I'm happy to play 10 or 12 like, a, like I've stated all year. So uh, Danny's fit this week, so um, I'm not sure exactly where we'll be fitting in, but uh, maybe 10, 12. Is there a reason you weren't out there today? No, I was out there. Just, uh, I guess, rewarded for uh, time. Short and sharp for me. Yeah. So hopefully, yeah, one more session tomorrow and then uh, we're on Friday. What about, sorry, no. Oh, that's what I was just going to say. Who do you see sort of as the biggest dangers in the fourth lineup? I guess, you know, they're so good around the breakdown and the back row is pretty good. Yeah, exactly. Well, they do have an international back row. Uh, yeah, you can't go past guys like David Pocock and Matt Hodgson. Uh, if you let them into the game early, they can really, I guess, uh, slow the contest there. But also looking at guys like Nathan Sharp. Um, <coughs> I guess you look at what he's done in the game, he's a pretty uh, prominent figure and uh, he's going to give them go for it, so if we can shut him down pretty early, it's going to be positive. Obviously you can go on James Stannard, he's been playing some good rugby as well and he's a, a pivotal point for their, I guess, their attack.